care about. Today we're looking at employees, pretty much. So let's go over here to management, and we're gonna first start out with personnel management. So this is where you can see the salary for everybody that works for your airline. Now it's pretty low. We have 12 pursers, 108 flight attendants. That's simply based around how many aircraft we have in our fleet and the amount of flight attendants need for them. Um, we also see we have 24 required flight crew, but zero active. We'll get to that in a second. 27 fleet management and 18 admin. All pretty low. Um, the next thing is week salary. So 1400 is what we're paying, which is below average. Um, and then we see over here, we have the ratings. You want to keep this green because it will affect. This has a huge effect in how your uh, ORS or your reservation systems images. So I have the airline sim suite, which allows me to click this magic button, which I can either raise by $2 or 2%, but we're going to actually go ahead and give us a nice 5% raise. And we're just going to hit apply salary. That's going to go through and apply a 5% raise based on what we uh, actually, the downside is only going to adjust for paid employees that we currently have uh, on roster. So it's not going to give some of them a pay raise like station managers, which also station managers, you're never going to have. They are in the game, but nobody really knows what they're supposed to do, what they're going to do, but you just will never hire them. But everything else actually got a pay raise. So overall, in the next couple of days, we will see a um, pay raise probably in, we'll probably see it reflected in terms of the mood, probably spread out over the next two or three days. Now, something to remember is as your competition grows, your competition might raise the uh, average. And so it's kind of a dick move but you can, especially as a smaller airline, you can afford to pay more and it will really hurt your competition. So that's something to keep in mind, but remember it has consequences because they could do it to you. Now we're going to go over here back to management and crew management. And this is where you're going to deal with your airline crews. So as you see, we only have pilot category for the A320 aircraft and we have zero pilots on the job market. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to hire. We're going to hire 24, or sorry, we have to train them actually. Hire would be if there's some on the job market, but train, we have to do it. And that's going to cost us a chunk of change. That's about $200,000 or about $10,000 per pilot. And that is kind of rough, especially once you start increasing. And so what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to hire it was 32 is if my math is correct for the four other aircraft and yeah so we burned about eh, half a million dollars on training pilots it's not great but not bad so what you need to do now is once you hire your pilots go back to fleet management and you go I'm clicking all and then over here crew assignment assign pilots and they'll see boom turn to yes so there you go that's everything you need to know about scheduling uh, your crews and making sure you have possible aircraft. Until next time, y'all have a good one.